Welcome to this video where I'll show you how to make easy abstract texture using acrylic paint and cling wrap. You can use this technique on both paper and canvas uh, to create texture and patterns for abstract paintings or let it spark ideas for abstract landscapes, etc. If you want to use this technique on canvas, I find that it works best on gessoed canvas. Otherwise, the procedure is the same. Start by adding water on the surface so that the paint will flow more easily. I want an overall warm feeling to this painting, so I chose my favorite earthy warm colors. Please see the description below for all the colors and materials used in this tutorial. At this stage, I will start by adding thin layers of acrylic paint and let them mingle on the canvas. We're not looking to make an even paint application, so give yourself permission to play and experiment with the paint. This layer will be the base layer and parts of it will show through in the finished painting while other parts will be covered up by the next paint layer. I'm not sure how the finished painting will look exactly and that's okay. At this stage it's all about the process. To create some variety in the painting, I'm making some areas darker and leaving other areas lighter and using a mixture of transparent and opaque colors. I keep working on the whole surface, keeping the Surface moist means that I can easily blend the colors, creating soft transitions. So I'm working uh, fairly uh, quickly and intuitively here. If you want to have a little bit more time, you could uh, use some glazing medium or add some retardo gel to your paints to uh, prolong the time where you can blend your paints to create the soft transitions. Using some crumbled up paper towel, I'll add some subtle texture in some areas. I'll add a bit of paint spatter up here to add a different type of texture. As a way of staying loose, notice how I'm using relatively large brushes. If you'd like to know more about painting in a looser style, I want to give you something. My free guide called Five Proven Ways to Loosen Up Your Painting Style. I'll put a link to that in the description below if that's something you'd like to check out. For the second layer I'll use some much darker color and in a nice complementary cool blue shade. I think this will help create some nice striking effects to the warm light base layer. I'll also get several pieces of cling wrap ready before I start adding the color. I prepare several pieces of cling wrap in different sizes. This will make it easier to manipulate it on the canvas. 
I like using high flow acrylics because they are already very fluid and I don't need to add any additional water. Acrylic dries fairly quickly so I like to have a rough idea of where I want the paint to go before I start this step. I've decided to use the blue paints in the lower part of the painting on about 25% of the canvas. I can always add more later if I want to. Getting the cling wrap ready here. It works best if it's already a bit creased or crumbled. I just realized I want this even darker on this side. Try to keep in mind that acrylics dry up somewhat lighter in color. Okay, now lay down the cling wrap and manipulate it gently to see how the paint pulls up and makes beautiful texture underneath. You can tug and pull gently on the sides of the cling wrap to change the texture right before your eyes. When you are happy with what you have, you just leave it. This is where having several smaller pieces of cling wrap comes in handy. Because when you pull on one end, it won't disturb the texture of what you already made. The smoother the cling wrap, the larger the shapes underneath will be. And the more crumbled it is, the smaller the texture will look. It's quite fun to play around with. I think you'll enjoy it. Here's a close-up of the canvas and now we'll have to wait for the paint to dry. This process can take quite some time because the cling wrap prevents the moisture in the paint from evaporating. After one hour I check to see, gently lifting the cling wrap in one corner. No, still not dry enough. I can see the paint move underneath, so I put it back in place and wait a bit longer. After four hours, I check again, and this time it looks dry enough. Lifting the cling wrap is quite exciting. Ooh, this almost looks like leaves of plants and flowers. If I tilt the canvas slightly like this, you can see that the paint is not fully dry yet. Now is a good time if you want to soften some edges that are not fully dry yet. I can take a brush with a little bit of uh, water on it and just gently soften some of the edges. What a fun and creative way to make abstract textures to spark endless painting ideas. Are you looking for more painting inspiration? Check out this tutorial on colorful abstract landscapes.